design follows a clean, straightforward elevation, where windows and doors are wrapped inside without revealing their identity, producing a monolithic form. Once entering the house, the visitor is welcomed to a larger volume, where all the common spaces are dynamically knit into one with an elongated water body by the entrance. Walls are intentionally kept minimal to provide unfettered access to the landscape in the periphery while ensuring the required privacy for bedrooms. While the screen and the subsequent landscape layer control the view towards the inner areas, the users are able to have a filtered view towards the outside through the same. This more or less thins the idea of having an opaque boundary to the volume, but serving its purpose of providing security going with an absolutely open planning. Designed for a family of four, husband, wife, and their two kids who currently reside in the UK and come down during their annual holidays, they wanted their home to be set in their ancestral land, enabling them to be around their loved ones and host memorable gatherings while they were here. The process behind delivering personalized and intimate spaces for each of the users from a common volume was very intense and the design ultimately went about having some delights like the floating deck by the living area that opens out to the garden reading space in the extended stair landing, private balcony of the first floor bedroom overlooking the plantation, the terrace planters, the bay windows and the prayer, meditation room in the ground floor with a perforated wall that brings in interesting patterns of daylight. These are spaces that emote varying moods where these users can celebrate the wholesome experience of homecoming. 